Hey, how you doing today? Spring migration. We're coming into the really heavy first wave of migratory birds coming into North into Ontario, coming up through North America, and what's happening? Birds, migration, windows. Hundreds of thousands of birds hitting windows. They hit our windows uh, in our residences, we hit windows in big cities, uh, and through migration, a lot of these birds migrate at night, big cities leave the tower buildings on with the lights all on, pang, pang, pang. Hundreds of thousand birds die every year uh, unnecessarily because we need to shut the lights off. Uh, we need to uh, implement into the construction industry and the architecture business and uh, into urban planning uh, that there's protection put in the windows to stop the killing of birds. We have a bunch of different products here that I wanted to kind of talk about. Uh, I have previous uh, videos done on this on our channel here and uh, talked about how to install and stuff, but I just really wanted to talk today about the products that are available that we can implement in our homes. Uh, even on deck railings now, there's a lot of plexiglass deck railings that are taking place. So when there's a 90 degree corner, birds are coming across and they think they can kind of go straight through particularly second level deck uh, decks and stuff from uh, two-story walkouts or cottages that are up higher that are looking out over the lake and stuff and birds are smacking into the into the, the deck railings into windows and things uh, grouse uh, raptors all kinds of warblers and songbirds and and what have you on a regular basis and then there's also a bit of a problem with at this time of year with particularly it seems here in eastern ontario it seems to be more uh, cardinals and robins and things other birds uh, uh, get into it obviously also but they see the reflection so they're in their territorial zone and they see the reflection in glass and they fight that reflection because they see it as a threat so it's another bird in their territory and they see it as a threat and often they'll fight to the death so if you see that happening around your house take a, like a, a plastic garbage bag cut it open and put it on the outside of the window to stop the reflection use cardboard use whatever but it has to go on the outside so that it eliminates that reflection and then they'll leave it alone sometimes you have to be a bit persistent but you can have to leave it alone so what we have for uh, some products there's a there's some products out in the marketplace called window alert uh, we have a variety of different colors of, or excuse me, sizes and shapes of the decal. Uh, it's a tr it's a very clear decal. Uh, it's activated by the UV light of the sun. So you can see on this side, see the reflection there. So this is what the bird sees, and then as a human, I see if you can see that right there. See that out shape of a a heart, or excuse me, of a maple leaf there. That's what we see. We see a very translucent. Uh, thing there and birds eye vision is different than ours so the UV light that uh, of the daylight reflects that and makes it uh, bright so that the bird sees the reflection of the that in the in the window and doesn't get the illusion that can fly through and there's a bunch of different scenarios sometimes it's the illusion that the bird can fly straight through or sometimes it's the illusion that they're whatever so if the window is there and, and the birds are coming in and hitting that window this way. What's behind us here? So if there's big trees and shrubs and, and what have you, that's reflecting in the window, uh, letting the bird think that there's a way to fly through there. So we have to uh, think about those very few things. Now there's often four to five uh, decals per package. And one of the other keys is that we have to, we have to cluster them together. We can't, if we have a big window, we can't put one here and one up here because that leaves a gap in the middle. And so what you have to do is you have to kind of bring them all together. So if you have your decals on your window, uh, this being the big window here, you sort of start in the middle. Start put one decal in the middle uh, and then start building out around the window as you go to fill in that space. And, and you'll cover up all the spots that you are perceived to be able to fly through. Because they, you know, if you think a bird flying through a tree, it dips and dives underneath branches and all that kind of stuff. These are very effective. They have a bit of a shortcoming, but they're very, very effective. Uh, there's a couple of different 
styles of uh, window decals and, and shapes, of course, different shapes and what have you, which is purely for our, our benefit. Uh, the shape has no bearing on how effective they are for the birds. Uh, that uh, the reflective nature of this product um, that the UV light activates it is what keeps them away. This is a this product here is relatively new to the marketplace. Uh, it's called Feather Friendly. It's an excellent, excellent product. It has no shelf life. It has, doesn't wear out. You don't have to remove it and put it back on or do anything. Uh, it's 100% effective uh, against window strikes. It creates this pattern on your window and all of this stuff has to go on the exterior of your glass not on the interior some circumstances uh, that are areas that are say very high and very difficult to work with sometimes you have to put them on the inside uh, but they're less effective so you need to use more of them in that circumstance this feather friendly comes in rolls like this it's uh, uh, I have a have them in boxes of 100 foot rolls and boxes of three 100 foot rolls so to be to put them on and to for coverage particularly uh, so I've just talking about these others in terms that you have to really kind of keep them tight together to keep them keep to get the coverage this gives you 100 percent coverage as compared to that um, in the end these are equally as cost effective if not more so because of uh, the way they go now as you see here the, I have the instructions up here uh, there comes with a couple of tapes here so that you put you lay it out to measure so that you get your grid calibrated properly and each box contains uh, the the all those products to be able to make it work so you can see the, the full instructions um, the tapes that go uh, up on the on the side so you can get that calibrated it comes with a little scraper um, this little scraper is an important little part of the process it's very thin as you can see sharp to one end to kind of get a space so but when you're getting it on you you give your this a little scrape like this to make sure that it's applied and stuck to the window so you use it as a little scraper to stick it onto the window and, uh, and once you put them on, you're finished. You don't have to worry about it. You can wash your windows over top of them. You can remove them and replace them. Um, it's a bit tedious to do that, I must say, but you can uh, remove them and take them off. And if you want to wash the windows, you just wash over top. You might have to kind of go both ways to work on the grid, but they will take them off and will eliminate birds hitting windows. Super, super important. Hundreds of thousands of birds every year uh, and if you think of the large stadiums and you know huge office buildings in the major, major downtown cores of, of cities and all the urban homes and things where uh, all the songbird stuff live in our urban gardens, they're smacking windows all the time. Thanks so much. Talk to you soon. Enjoy the migration. It's first wave is happening. We're coming into the middle of April, moving into the first part, the latter part of April into the first part of May. And this is a busy time for sure. Super excited about it too. I love migration. Have yourself a great day. Thanks for stopping by.